usually while we're practicing, I don't know if you have noticed this or not, um, we, most of the time, as I know myself and all other students, our mind is wandering somewhere. And I remember myself, I could even have some weird voices in my mind, weird conversations with myself, like vague conversations. I don't know. It's like I was picking up some energies, some memories, anything, but not the music. My fingers would go and my mind would wander. <laughs> um, now, the road from this way, when you are separate from the musical world while practicing for hours, to the place where you 100% and the moment, in now, in music, creating every step consciously, every second, every moment, don't touching the key without imagination. This road is very challenging to, to, um, to pass because uh, basically, as I remember myself, uh, it was mostly like, before it was completely, I'm, I'm not connected to, to music, I mean, I'm playing something expressively, but I'm in my mind somewhere else. Then I started, when I started imagining, I was basically like this, I was into the musical world and then out, into the world and then out, into the world and out. Uh, so mostly like flickering waves up and down, but uh, that's how it starts and I think Maybe even the first year I felt the same way. I, I don't want to discourage you, but I'm just saying the reality is this. It's not like you are developing your ear over the night and the next morning you wake up and it's like, oh my God, I can imagine every concerto. I can open the score, I can read in my mind everything and I can imagine everything while playing. Uh, it takes training. It takes desire. It takes the will to do this. It takes determination. Um, it takes to actually realize that practicing for hours uh, the same piece for months is not worth it. It's, it's, it's not worth it because um, eventually you just exhaust yourself and eventually you still don't feel comfortable while playing. And also playing the same piece for so long, it's not really encouraging. You just want to finish, you want to play, first of all, any piece you want. Second of all, you want to finish it within a week. And just, and third of all, you want to hear that your teacher is always happy with you. <laughs> so when you realize that, okay, it's over, I'm done with this, that's the way I want to start training my ear. That happened to me. This is where determination, will and desire begins and this is what will help you along this way. Um, maybe a bit challenging way, I'm not saying it's really easy. But it's so worth it when you really start developing and you really start enjoying. You start playing because you enjoy it. <laughs> You're not playing to uh, impress someone or because someone told you you need to practice or because you need your grades, your diploma, certificate, a job. No, because you still, you love it so much. That's why you play it. When you create music um, and everything you want, you can express on the piano. So when you understand that this is more valuable than just practicing without mind for hours, then you start moving this direction, I guess. So everyone has its own his own time when one is ready but yeah basically when I'm playing and my students are playing that's the very first thing we develop awareness of awareness of what we're doing in every single moment when we are in front of the piano uh, and imagination is the first step to do that <laughs> Prince of the Cat you were talking about focusing to, um, to the music and uh, wandering around in your mind. How to connect better to the music? Do you have some tips? <laughs> Trust me, when you're gonna play and you're gonna connect vertical imagination with horizontal line, you will be present 
all the time. <laughs> you will be probably playing only one line and after one line you will feel like, okay, I'm so overwhelmed, I cannot practice anymore. Because you, um, this gives you responsibility to create music uh, at every moment. You don't touch the key before clear imagining it. You don't touch the key before reaching it with internal singing. So you have really no space for wondering anymore. <laughs>